Hi Taurus, welcome to How Love Tarot. This is your October 2021 Money, Career and Finance reading. I've already pulled your tarot. Sitting in your present position um, is the Six of Wands and the Six of Swords and the Ace of Wands. A uh, lot of wand energy. So um, what I'm going to do is read out the cards and then I'll tell you what I'm picking up intuitively. So it says here, victory, wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotions, awards, or scholarships. This one is, in the Six of Swords, the end of challenging times, things are looking up, a welcome relief, finding your way to peaceful place, uh, to a peaceful place, the end of depression or an illness, travel or relocation. And then we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So. You know, it's interesting what these cards are saying because that's not actually what I'm feeling for you, Taurus. Spirit, can you bring forward the energy in regards to Taurus in regards, be specific, can you tell me more about career? Uh, can you tell me more about job and how they're feeling about their work right now? Because we don't have any pentacle energy here. Taurus, pentacle energy is money. So this is a focus on um, kind of in your job. Do you stay or do you go, right? So basically what we have in this card is the man with his family uh, leaving. And that's the energy that's actually coming out in the reading. It feels like there is a... Um, it feels like there is uh, a need to uh, provide. Right here we have a woman and a child. And it feels like there is a need to provide for the vulnerable in your life or a need to provide in regards to partnership in your life, right? And this definitely has to do with um, uh, matters of the heart. So that could be family members or someone that you're dating or someone that you're seeing or children. Um, and so there is this kind of thought process that's going on, but it is with a heavy heart that you're doing all of this. And as you are looking for solutions in your private life, you're looking towards your work to kind of find those answers. In the six of wands here, which usually means victory, right? It usually means that um, there's success in that environment, but it's, it's really not what it feels like. The ace of wands is in the reverse position and um, it feels as if this position that you have is going to be taking on more responsibility. It's going to be taking on, um, uh, it's gonna require a lot more energy of you. I don't think it's energy that you have right now. It feels as if uh, some of it is a little bit of burnout. It feels like your mind is in other things and it feels like for you, if you were to change up your work environment, then somehow that will bring in some of the relief that you are looking for in your life. Now you have both the Six of Wands and the Six of Swords here. And sixes in tarot represent balance. And what I feel here is that your life is out of balance. And the way that you're trying to bring in balance is, I feel like there are fixed factors in your life, Taurus. So there are, there are things that you can't do anything about if we're talking about family or matters of the heart. They are just kind of, they're non-negotiable, right? If you have marriage and, and you have children or you have a child or you're paying alimony or you're paying child support or you are, I don't know, let's say um, getting ready to help out family members that require your financial assistance or even physical support, uh, they're fixed factors, right? You can't tell an elderly parent, hey, don't be getting old like that right because I don't have time for it I don't have time to help you out um, so the only thing that you can change is your work and so it feels like in your energy that's what you think the solution is but the fact that the ace of wands is in the reverse position it really shows this kind of lack luster passion in your work career or business whatever it is that you're doing your mind is really, really somewhere else. And um, this, is, this is what's going on in that present position. I don't feel, it says here, the end of challenging times. I don't feel that, to be honest, Taurus, I don't feel that. I feel that 
um, that's what you want. You want to change up work. You want work to change. You want things in your work environment to be different. You're thinking about um, new opportunities to create the end of challenging times. Um, you want things to look up, right? Because it says here things are looking up. A welcome relief. You're thinking that if you change this one variable in your life that you can change, that will bring the peace that you are looking for. Uh, the end of depression or illness. So this has caused a lot of stress and strain in your life. Whatever it is that you're going through, um, there's a lot of burnout energy going on here. You're burnt out and it doesn't feel like you're just burnt out from work alone. It feels like you're just burnt out um, with a lot of worry and concern about what is going on in your life uh, on all levels. I'm going to go to your challenge and then I'm going to come to your strength. Here we have the uh, Ten of Cups and, and kind of it's, here it is, it's reinforced again, this thing about family or, um, oh, damn, we have the, t we have the Tower. Uh, so, okay, so basically we have the Tower and we have the Five of Pentacles. So um, to clarify the Ten of Cups, so a happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successfully, people you can trust. So in your energy, Taurus, what is happening is the challenge is how do you balance out everything? That word balance is coming out. You are looking to have a much more fulfilling uh, personal life, both romantically and if you have children with your children. Um, the tower moment is here in the upright position, which means things have got to change. They're either changing for you or you've created the change, but but um, you may be getting divorced, you may be um, may have just gotten divorced, but the tower moment is here to represent that this family life has broken apart. And uh, for those of you that don't have a family and maybe are single, then something, um, the challenge is that you feel that, uh, you feel trapped in a way is what I feel. And you feel that you've got to create the tower moment. And what that means is that you've got to create dramatic change in your life. Here we have the five of pentacles in the reverse position. And so what has happened is that you've been feeling lonely and in the challenge position, it feels like you've kind of figured uh, some stuff out. You, you know where your happiness is. You know that you want it to be in um, a, a situation that is give and take, that is equally meeting your needs as well as you meeting the needs of the other person. I kind of feel like you're in a place that you want your needs met, Taurus. I feel like you've been in deficit here with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And this is why we've got the tower moment, right? So if you've been in an unhappy situation, uh, unhappy marriage, or you're coming out of an unhappy relationship, or you've been alone for a very, very long time, or it could be that it's just, um, you're just not happy all around. And the challenge is, is knowing that you want to seek balance in your life, you want to seek connection in your life, you want time to do your own thing, but in regards to money, career and finances, you're, it really feels like um, you're pushing, you're pushing uh, to force a change in your life, Taurus. That's what it feels like in career or business. You're pushing it. It doesn't, for me, doesn't feel like it's happening. The tower moment does feel like it's coming down in your personal life. Tower moment is everything comes crashing down and nothing is the same that it used to be. And so that is happening in your personal life or has just happened in the last couple of years where you've come out of a long-term commitment or again, you are, you've come out of a loss, uh, a lot of loss and sorrow and um, which has left you extremely vulnerable and uh, at times quite fearful and lonely and sad. And so that is in your challenge position still, okay? So it's not you're not at the end of the road with that. In regards to your strength, Spirit, can you tell me what is going on in Taurus's strength in regards to 
Korea. If you if there's anything about money, can you tell me about that too? I'm not feeling money, Taurus. I'm feeling really this is about your work life, work life balance. Um, here we have the four of wands in the upright position. Oh, well, I read these in the upright position anyway. And then we have the nine of cups in the reverse and we have the ace of swords in the reverse. Spirit, can you bring forward the strength for Taurus and money, career and finances in the month of October? Here we have so much to celebrate. Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life. I do not feel that, I'm sorry. Taurus, I don't feel that for you. I feel it's what you want. I feel like it's a fantasy. I feel like it's something that you dream about. I feel like stability um, in partnership, you know, dreaming about a life with a special person that you can have fun with and move forward with and reestablishing that is what this energy feels like. In the Nine of Cups, it does feel like you don't want to be on your own anymore. It does feel like you're saying good riddance to the past. And it does feel like here with the Ace of Swords, but the Ace of Swords is in a reverse in your strength position, is that you need to go after your own truth. You need to live authentically. The fact that it's in the reverse in your strength position shows that you know that, but it is not here in the present moment. So in your strength position, um, what's so positive about it is that the need and the desire and the motivation to uh, create something new in your life, to create partnership, is to get out of situations that you're feeling quite isolated in, is to um, realize that you don't want to be on your own anymore. You don't want to burn the candle at both ends anymore. You don't want to be burnt out. You don't want to have superficial relationships. You don't want to... Um, be in a situation where people are sneaky around you. So you could be dealing with that at work as well, where there's kind of changes and they're being made around you and you're not, you're kind of in a position where you should be um, or you used to be that you would be consulted, but now you're not being consulted and the, the decisions are being made around you, but they're affecting you quite heavily. And you're like in this strength position, you're aware of that and you're ready to walk away from that situation. So knowing what you want is sitting in your strength position, knowing, you know, and that is, you know, kind of half the battle Taurus, because many people uh, want something new, but they don't know what they want. And um, until you can see it in your mind, which is, this is what this shows in the, in the four of uh, wands and this is what it showed in your challenge and it also shows it in your present position so it's very clear here to me in this reading that you can visualize and see your your future life um, and that is a tremendous strength in regards to being able to manifest that life you can't manifest a life if you can't see it if you can't imagine it think it feel it it you cannot drive the actions that are needed to um, experience the outcome that you want to out that you want to see so uh, there's a lot of insight going on there's a lot of processing going on you know how you want it to look and what you're doing is looking at career or business and, and you're looking at finances but finances are not coming out in this reading so i can't give you things about finances when it's actually not coming out in the outcome we have dreamer the dreamer we have the chariot card i'm just going to put this here so i can read it and we have the death card and we have the three of pentacles so what it shows here taurus in the dreamer um we have a new start trust yourself push your fears aside and take a leap of faith that's what you're dreaming about that's the outcome you so in the outcome it, it shows here that you want fast change you're fed up taurus you're fed up you want fast change and you want a uh, forward movement so all of this energy right here we've got the chariot uh sorry we've got the dreamer we've got the chariot we've got the death card all of this is showing that you're seeking a uh, complete transformation in your life you want you want this stuff to change and you want it to change now you're tired you're tired of dealing with the same old same old and you're tired of kind of the uphill battle here we have rewards that come from hard work successful balancing 
sorry, successfully balancing many priorities at once, determination and willpower, public recognition. So I do feel like part of this is the dream. Part of it is that you can see it. Part of it is that you're ready for transformation. But what's so interesting in your outcome, Taurus, is this, the Three of Pentacles. So in the Three of Pentacles, it shows here, and what's coming out in the chariot energy over here, is that rewards come from hard work. I do feel like you're going to make a decision, and I do feel like you're going to move unconsciously towards your dream. Now, you are a very grounded sign, grounded, very grounded, very um, methodical, very strategic, very logical. So even though all these thoughts are going on in your mind, you're not the kind of sign to take a leap of faith and just hope for the best. So I do see a lot of strategy and planning here in the Three of Pentacles. I see you here and this finally we have the Pentacle energy, which is the money coming out in the outcome here. So it shows here that you're um, gonna continue to kind of work on what it is that you, you need to work on financially, but it does show here that you're gonna start to um, successfully move towards balance and you're going to successfully uh, identify what your priorities are. A big part of what is going on is that you've got so many priorities, right? So many kind of things in your environment that require your attention that it's hard to understand who is the priority, what is the priority, and where do you come in in all of this? And so um, you're gonna gain, gain clarity on that in the month of October. And then you're going to, I do feel like transformation is coming, Taurus. I do feel like there is a big change happening in your life. I do believe by the end of the year, December, um, on, you know, I said the word unconsciously. So there could be some sabotage that's going on, self-sabotage. So um, you're not one to be irresponsible, but you may start doing things where you are not yourself at work or in business and you kind of force the change because that came out also in your challenge. You won't consciously do it. You won't consciously be disruptive uh, to everything and any anything that is relying on you in your life because that's kind of not the way that you are. You are somebody that um, is renowned for your reliability. Uh, you like being reliable. You like being counted on. So you're not one to just uh, fly by the seat of your pants. But I do feel here that you're going to trust yourself. I do feel you're going to push any fear and doubt um, aside. And I do feel that you're going to move towards a new direction. Now, I gotta say this, Taurus, I don't think that it has to do with work. Not yet. I don't feel a sense that you need to change up your work environment just yet. But I feel like you, you think that that is what you need to do. Now, I'm not living your life. All Tauruses are different. All your situations are different. It may be that that is the thing that has to change because, um, I don't know, let's say you're living in Montana and and I'm just gonna give this as an example, please don't get all ruffled up when I say this, but um, let's say you live in Montana, right? And you've come out and you're gay and you've been living this kind of double life for a very, very long time. And um, you know, you've been struggling with that and struggling to find like-minded people well, you make a decision that in order for you to be true and authentic to yourself and to gain the balance that you need personally, you may now need to move to San Francisco or to Wilton Manors <laughs> in Florida or Orlando or California, right? To, to In order to be around like-minded people and to be more of yourself. And so it may be, you may, you know, push comes to shove and you, you may just decide, you know, listen, this is not the place for me, meaning the state that you're living in, right? So if you're living in Montana, you may just finally come, you know, it may not be about the job. The recognition that you may be coming to is, you know, what makes me happy is, you know, this is where I'm going to find my people and I need to move out of Montana and I need to move to a bigger gay community. Or let's say you're an athlete and you live on, in Montana and uh, your sport 
of choice is snorkeling, right? Um, well, you may not get a lot of snorkeling opportunities in Montana, but if you move to South Florida and you move to Miami, you may get an incredible amount of opportunities to do that in your personal life and still work your normal nine to five and or work your business. So this is really about identifying where your needs can be met in your personal life and then deciding where that is and can you change your job to move in that direction, not the other way around. It's not changing your job and finding happiness. It's changing, um, it's identifying where and what you need to be happy and where you will find that. And then the job thing or the business thing kind of falls in place for you. Taurus, please check out your general readings. Um, those are gonna be posted as well, should be coming up in the link below. Thank you for everybody that um, is liking, subscribing, leaving comments. I do appreciate them. And Taurus, uh, you'll work it out, don't worry about it. It will, it will come to its own uh, fruition. It feels like you're processing things right now and you will find the answers. I do feel like the, the answers are just gonna kind of come naturally. I don't feel like you have to force it as much as you think that you do. All right, Taurus, you take care and I will speak to you soon.